Managing inventory is key for Nick in making sure Nick's coffee room runs efficiently. NCR Silver has several built-in features to make inventory management easy and effective. Wow, Nick, it looks like you just got a lot of new inventory in. Yeah, we've got a lot of great new mugs and t-shirts with the Nick's Coffee Room logo on them. But it also looks like we accidentally ordered too many small and large paper cups, and I'm not sure we have anywhere to put them. It sounds like you need a better way of managing and tracking your inventory. NCR Silver can help you with that. In the back office, select Inventory, then Manage. The Manage page is used to monitor and update your inventory so you can keep track of how well items are selling or when you need to reorder items in your inventory. That there are several tools you can use to manage your inventory. The first screen you'll see after selecting the Manage page is the Snapshot. This snapshot is based on six weeks of sales data and is updated as transactions go through the POS. The snapshot displays relevant information about each item listed, including the item name, variations, barcode, category, and vendor. You can filter the snapshot by category, vendor, or number of days to reorder point, or you can choose to show all, which is the default. If you have more than 1,000 items, the Show All option is not available. Professor Silver, does everything show up in the snapshot? What if there are certain items I don't need to track? For example, because lattes are not pre-made items, I can't track how many I have on hand. Great question! Only items you have counted or received will appear in the snapshot. So even though you can't count how many lattes you have, you can keep track of how much milk and espresso you have on hand. That's fantastic! How do I know when something needs to be reordered? One of the fields in the snapshot is Days of Supply. This tells you, based on your quantity on hand and the average sold per week, how many days you have left before you'll run out of that item. You can use this, in combination with the reorder point, to determine when it's time to reorder an item. I'll show you how to set up a reorder point in a few minutes. The snapshot also tells you important information about the value of your inventory items. The unit price of each item is displayed along with the unit cost and the gross margin percent. The replacement value and retail value fields calculate the total value of your inventory. This is great, Professor Silver. Can I print the snapshot? Absolutely! You can export and either print or save the snapshot. But remember, it's only a snapshot at one point in time and cannot be modified. What if I want to see how one particular item is selling? Is there a quick way to find the items? Yes. You can use the search field to find specific items and view them in the snapshot. Professor Silver, the snapshot looks like a really useful tool. But you said only items that are counted or received are included in the snapshot. How can I count and receive items? Great question! The Count Worksheet, Count Entry, and Receive sections of the Manage page will help you count and receive inventory. Select Count Worksheet first. The Count Worksheet is useful for periodic counts of your inventory. The worksheet can be exported and printed by category or by last time counted, so you or your employees can count the items you have on hand in your store. I see. So this is just a list of all my items, but I don't actually enter the inventory counts here. That's right. You'll enter the counts manually in the count entry section. You can enter either the number of packages or individual units you have on hand. Oh. So, because I didn't enter the units I had on hand when I created my inventory database, I can update that here instead of editing individual items. You got it! This is also where you set your reorder point. 
For example, maybe you want to know when you only have 15 packages of small cups left. You would enter 15 in the reorder point field. The reorder point will then appear in the snapshot and automatically calculate how many days you have left before you need to reorder small cups. Then I wouldn't have 20 extra packages of cups in my store and know where to put them. Exactly. And speaking of all those cups, when you receive inventory, you can go to the Receive section and enter the number of packages you received. You can also update the package cost here if necessary. When you receive items, the system will automatically calculate the receiving extended cost and enter the current date in the last received date field. Will the snapshot be updated automatically after I enter my counts and receive inventory? Yes, it will. You may have to refresh your browser for the changes to be reflected in the snapshot. NCR Silver makes managing your inventory simple. You can track how well certain items are selling, and you can keep accurate track of how many items you have on hand so you don't order too much. Nick knows how important it is to accurately manage his inventory so he doesn't run out of items, or have a surplus of items he doesn't have room for in his store. Now that he knows how to manage his inventory in the back office, Nick's store will run more efficiently. In the next course, Nick will learn about user roles and user settings in the back office.